Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. In today's video, we will be discussing about Chomsky hierarchy of grammar. We will be discussing about uh, four tuples of grammar, how different types of grammars have different types of rules. Kindly watch the video till the end. We start the lecture by Chomsky hierarchy of grammar. When I talk about the Chomsky hierarchy of grammar, uh, the important things that come into my mind are uh, that uh, what kind of uh, tuples that they will possess. If I talk about tuples of grammar, there are actually four tuples of grammars that will, will be there. First tuple is non-terminals. Guys, uh, in uh, non-terminals are also referred as variables. They are basically responsible for generating rules, right? Uh, the second uh, tuple of grammar is terminal. Terminals we all know are input symbols. Then we have uh, the third tuple which is known as your production rules. For every type of grammar, uh, we will have different type of production rule that I will discuss. Production rules basically help in generating the strings. From generation of strings, we will identify what language they belong to. And last, not the least, uh, we will have a starting symbol. Guys, starting symbol is also your non-terminal that basically is responsible for starting of a string. So these are four tuples of grammar. So every uh, grammar is having different set of production rules. Uh, there are some grammars which are referred as restricted grammars. There are some grammars which are referred as non-restricted grammars. So we will be discussing all types of grammar. So if I talk about Chomsky hierarchy of grammar, He has actually divided uh, the Chomsky hierarchy into certain parts. We have first type of uh, grammar, which is known as type 3 grammar. Or I rather create the types accordingly. Just a minute. This is first type of grammar. This is known as type 3 grammar. I'm, I will just write type 3. Or it is also known as a regular grammar. Right. This is one. Uh, then we have the next one. Uh, we have is... This is known as type 2 grammar or it is also known as CFG which I will tell you that is con context free grammar. Right, uh, we will have the third one. Uh, the third one would be Type 1 grammar. It is also known as context sensitive grammar. 
context sensitive grammar and the last and the most important out of all is This is uh, known as type zero grammar, or it is also known as uh, your unrestricted grammar. Now, guys, uh, let me tell you what kind of uh, automatas they are basically getting accepted from these grammars the first type of automata is uh, your unrestricted grammar accepts uh, your it is accepted by your turing machine your turing machine accepts this grammar uh, then your type 1 grammar uh, which is known as context sensitive grammar is accepted by linear bounded automata your type 2 grammar is accepted by your push down automata and there is one automata that we have already discussed in previous lectures which is known as finite automata is accepting is actually accepting uh, your uh, type 3 grammar which is a regular grammar so uh, guys every kind of grammar is having certain set of rules and all set of rules uh, are abided by uh, these grammars and these are accepted by certain machines which i have mentioned in this particular hierarchy so i'll just start with type 3 grammar guys uh, type 3 grammar is also known as a regular grammar and it is accepted by a regular language or we can create finite automata of it uh, in uh, future lectures we will be creating finite automata from regular lang uh, language so what is uh, this grammar known as firstly first point to understand is that it is the most restricted part of grammar it is the most restricted part of grammar means that uh, if i have a most restricted part or most restricted form of grammar you can also refer so this is a most restricted form of grammar so what are the production rules so what are the rules that you need to understand so that that differentiate it with uh, your other grammars guys uh, see uh, every kind of production rule basically is applied where when alpha provides beta means that uh, your production rules would be your alpha over here that what is the restriction that one restriction is that it will have non terminals can generate terminal followed by a non terminal a single terminal and a single non terminal this is one thing second uh, kind of production rule it can have is that non terminals can generate a non terminal followed by a terminal again this is single non terminal and this is a single terminal like for an example uh, your uh, grammar has actually four tuples and since i told you that a single there is a non terminal then there are terminals and production rules as well as starting symbols so your grammar can be generated like s can generate small a followed by capital s or it can also generate s is generating capital s fo followed by small a single non terminal single terminal single terminal followed by single non terminal apart from this there cannot be any other rule 
so what is the restriction restriction is that alpha should be a single non terminal and beta should be two types either terminal followed by non terminal or non terminal followed by terminal so these are this is the actually restricted form of grammar see the restriction is uh, removed uh, in your second case and your second case is your text pre grammar uh it is also referred as type 2 and it is also uh, it is recognized by push down automata so what is the restriction which is removed from uh, your uh, your type 3 grammar the restriction that we are impo uh, imposing is that what is the restriction or what are the production rules actually so what is the production rule the production rule again same says alpha is generating beta but what is the production rule the production rule says a single non terminal can give any combination of terminal followed by non terminal or non terminal followed by terminal means that on left side it must be a single non terminal and on the right side anything can come this is the important part that you need to understand and one important guys uh, over here uh, this is one rule terminal followed by non terminal non terminal followed by terminal there is another rule also that they can generate a single terminal also that a single non terminal can generate a single terminal that i'm talking about your uh, most restricted part of grammar which is known as your type 3 grammar but what is the restriction that we have removed in in your second grammar which is context free that on left side there can be a single non terminal on right side there can be anything so only one restriction is there that non uh, alpha should be a single non terminal this is very very important right so this is uh, your second part fine so then we will talk about your third type of third uh, type of grammar which is known as type 1 grammar or it is also known as context sensitive grammar uh guys again it will have a particular rule there may be one restriction but yes uh, we have a production rule and it is recognized by linear bounded automata so what is the restriction or what is the production rule production rule that i'm going to have again alpha generates beta so what is the uh, restriction that we need to impose that uh, you can have alpha can have anything beta can have anything but it means alpha can have terminal followed by non terminal full star a non terminal means alpha can have all the values of terminal non terminal there is a single non terminal for sure but it can have it can have any values of non terminal on the left side any values of uh, terminals on right side or any value of non terminals a single non terminal is there any combination of terminal non terminal can come on left and right side of non terminal now beta can also be same thing it can be uh, anything anything means it can have any values on the right side means anything on right hand side but what is the restriction the restriction is length of alpha should always be less than equal to beta 
This is very very important. The length of alpha is less than equal to the length of beta means that if I am writing like this non-terminal followed by terminal followed by non-terminal should always be less than you cannot like this why because over here the length is one two and three so three length cannot be less than two length because this is one length and this is second length so again this is one condition the length of alpha should be less than equal to the length of beta this is the important condition and this is the important restriction of this particular part fine okay so the last and the most uh, last type of grammar is known as unrestricted grammar it is also known as type zero grammar which is accepted by turing machines guys there is only one restriction there is actually it's not a restriction but it is like alpha generates beta uh, what is production rules what can be the restriction that alpha value should be any combination of terminal can non terminal can come a single non terminal come any combination of terminal plus non terminal can come right and on the right hand side of that beta beta can be any value which is terminal and non terminal so you say sir you have written the same thing on the on the previous part which is type 1 grammar what is the difference the difference is alpha must contain a single non terminal for sure or you can also say that alpha must not be equal to null. This is the only, this is not a restriction, but obviously your alpha is a rule generator. So it cannot be equal to null. So clearly it means a single non-terminal must be present. So these are the Chomsky hierarchy of grammars, their restrictions and how they are differentiated from one another. So thank you for watching. If you have any sort of doubt, you can please post that in comment section. I'll be happy to answer.